Tighten those seat belts, folks, because we have this cold front and it's bringing in a lot of nasty weather as it moves through, leaving us great for the weekend, but we have to get to the weekend first. Here's where it is right now, right over Colorado, New Mexico. It's slowly pushing its way into the northern parts of Texas, going into those overnight hours. You can kind of see the trough just ahead of it. It's more of a dry line. This can bring up lots of scattered showers, thunderstorms that can turn severe almost instantaneously instantaneously as it begins to unfold. Right now we're not noticing anything too bad. A little bit of that cloud cover, pretty muggy, pretty humid, pretty warm and just not really uncomfortable or it is pretty uncomfortable. Let's put it that way. He goes, well, that feeling is going to stick around throughout the day tomorrow. Starting in the overnight hours, early morning, expect a lot of those scattered showers. Notice the winds are coming directly from the south and the southeast. That's fueling a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico ahead of this frontal system which is exactly what's going to kind of cause it to kind of explode as we go into the afternoon evening hours right along the I 35 corridor. It starts kind of popping up this little squall line. Some models are showing it pop up to the west. Some models are showing it pop up to the east. This one is showing specifically to the east, but right around five o'clock, six o'clock. Just get ready for a big line of very strong thunderstorms that could easily turn severe. We're talking the main threat with this going to be extremely strong winds, but of course you still have that hail and tornado risk. We'll get to that in just a minute. Even as we go into by 10 o'clock hour, kind of over the College Station Bryan area, but then it moves out as quickly as it came through. This is going to be a very fast moving system, leaving us nice and clear heading into our Saturday. Forecast rainfall, because of how quick it is, it's not going to have a lot of time to dump a ton of rain on us. Now, this one is going to be based on the model that shows the squall line itself going out to the east. So do expect some places to get about one to two inches, maybe even three inches, but much of the area not expecting widespread showers and thunderstorms. It's mainly going to be a wind event. So starting off tomorrow morning, look at a strong gust fueling again a lot of that moisture from the Gulf. We're looking about 30 to even 40 mile per hour gusts. Then right around five o'clock, you can kind of see right where that line of that showers and storms are and then boom right there, right where you have all those showers and storms. It just calms down kind of like an eerie calm like in the eye of a hurricane, but then going into Saturday kind of light winds, nothing too bad. Perfect for going outside and enjoying it. Severe weather potential. Here we go. Level three marginal risk or excuse me, enhanced risk. We're used to seeing those marginal and slight risk, but tornado risk is significant. We do have chances for some large hail over an inch in some areas. High winds again up to 60, 70, 80 miles per hour. Flooding risk is relatively low just because we're not expecting widespread rain for long periods of time, but still some neighborhoods could certainly see some kind of flooding issues. Mostly cloudy tonight, 70 degrees. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. 20% chance of those showers mostly beginning in the very early parts of the morning. Definitely on the gusty side as well. Once we get past that, look at that. We start to see much cooler temperatures going into our Saturday low starting in 48 high 75. I'll take that. Then don't forget to fall back on Sunday at 2 a.m. That'll happen twice technically. Then we have a very weak, very, very weak front that's coming in on Monday. 30% chance of showers. Don't forget voting day is on Tuesday. A little bit of cloud cover kind of above average for next week. But you know what, Chris? We just got to get through these storms first and you know what? We can do it. Proof that everything's better once you've made it to the weekend. Yeah.